Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our CAW system, our carbon absorbing wall. I think I looked on our schedules, we have nine DIY projects going on where people have framed the room out, are using our CAW process. So I have to explain constantly to people the process, those that are building it, you know, they want to make changes and I get it, you know, they want to cut corners here and there, save time and energy and money, but you can't. And I want to walk through the process once again to show people it's not complicated, but it's not simple either. There's a balancing act and we can't sacrifice any of the parts of the machine or it won't work. I uh, was uh, talking to a friend the other day. He said, the factories of the future will have two employees a man and a dog. The man will be there to feed the dog. The dog will be there to keep the man from touching the machinery. So similar situation here. Just build it the way I designed it because that's the way it works, okay? And if you do this or you do that, I don't know if it's going to work or not. If I do know it won't work, I'll definitely tell you. And if I'm not sure, I'll tell you that too. But let's err on the side of caution because this is a big process, okay? So let's look at diaphragmatic absorption process. That's what we have to understand. We have a diaphragm, we have a cabinet, and we have a certain depth of the cabinet, and then we have an internal fill material, okay? So there's three major parts. So the cabinet density, the cabinet depth terms the level. How, how low does it go? Does it go 30 hertz? Does it go 40? Does it go 50? So in order to get a 50, a 30 hertz, we got to have 10 inches of cabinet depth, okay? That's just how diaphragmatic works. If I put the formula on the board and we ran some calculations, you could understand that. You would see, and 10 inches is the minimum to get down into that 30 cycle range. That's what we're, our, our objective is, okay? So the cabinet density and the fill mater material determine the rate of absorption, how much energy is absorbed, okay? You can refer to this graphic here on the performance of the ACDA series. You can see the, the strong upward movement of, of the curve. Well, that's the rate of absorption, how much energy is absorbed in each octave pan, okay? So... Let's work at the process. So we have this huge pressure wave, low frequency pressure wave, right? Going like this, and it strikes the cabinet face. Now our cabinets have two walls. For purposes of this illustration, I'm just gonna use one. So the, the wall starts to move, okay? It's out of phase, both walls are out of phase. So what does that do? That slows the pressure wave down. When it slows down, some of it's reflected back. Most of it goes through the unit, okay? When it enters the inside of the cabinet, the pressure on the inside of the cabinet is greatly reduced because of the carbon technology. It's a very, very powerful absorber, okay? So it reduces the pressure inside the cabinet. So an atmospheric pressure wave on the outside created by music, standard atmospheric pressure, enters an area of lower pressure, it collapses. And that's how we get attenuation. We call it cutting the head and the tail off. Makes it a little easier for people to understand. Now, the beautiful thing about this system and, and our system is that we can vary the thickness of the filter. And we all know what that does, right? Because the filter, is responsible for rate. So if we want a little more horsepower in absorption, we can vary the thickness of this. And we do that. We pressure map the room. We look at each wall surface. We look at the frequency and amplitude that each wall surface is producing. We know on that wall surface, you might have 30 hertz here. You might have a 40 hertz problem here. You might have a 50 hertz problem there. No problem because the depth of the cavity is taking care of all three. But you might have a bigger problem on that wall at 30. So in that location, we need to increase the thickness of the filter. That's how we fine tune this thing. It's the most powerful of all low frequency uh, technologies. And the stud spaces are miniature 
diaphragmatic absorbers. So we have the ability to control the energy in that wall structure every 14 and a half inches. Nothing can escape. Nothing can get away from us, see? So we turn the whole wall into an absorber. We turn the whole wall into a system that works to treat the problems that the dimensions are creating and the usage also, right? So if we have a room that's 20 by 20 by 10 and we're just doing vocals, it's completely different than a room that's 20, 20, 10 with drums. So we might not even need diaphragmatic absorption in the vocal. Probably won't. Freestanding units or, or wall hanging units will be enough. But you put a drum, ki drum kit in there, it's a whole other game. You're going from 80, 85 dB SPL to 120. So it's a huge pressure wave. So we have to use the appropriate technology. And when we tune the room every 14 and a half inches, that's how we guarantee frequency response of the room. And we do that for all new builds. This is the key, changing the thickness of the carbon filter. Our carbon filters are three inches, four inches, and five inches. And it just depends on the problems that you're having on that wall location. So maybe we got a big one at 30, maybe we got a big one at 40. So we're going to add a little more carbon, a little thicker filter, if you will, that goes between the studs. So we turned the, if you look at this diagram, that's a freestanding unit. But if you look at it from, from studs, this could be a stud. And this could be a stud. And the filters go between. So that's how the process works. It's the most powerful. The big thing about this is you get the room working for you and not against you. I mean, for those of us that can build new rooms, great. We, we have control over dimensions, so we can, you know, minimize the issues that pressure and reflections produce. A lot of us cannot. We're stuck in the rooms that we have. Well, that's okay, because we know what the problems are based on the dimensions. Now the goal is, can we find enough space to treat, and can we find enough money? That's the key. It's always budget and space to treat almost in anything that we see anymore. So this is our own system. It's unbelievably powerful. It balances the pressure throughout the whole room. And, you know, you can do amazing things with it. You can get a, a very, very smooth uh, frequency response. We have some projects coming up on video. You're not going to believe the response curves. For those of you out there that want numbers, you're going to get them. You're going to see things you've never seen before in new rooms. So this is a wonderful process. It's got a lot of horsepower. And you want to make sure that if you're doing a new build or a retrofit, some guys will demo and, and try it. What do we need? Well, we got to have 2 by 12 studs because I need that 11 inches of space. Because remember, we need 10 inches to get to 30 hertz. So it's framing the room out with a 2x6 or 2x8. It's not going to get you 10 inches of depth. So you frame it out. You build the filters. Follow our instructions. If you're doing a DIY approach. And install them accordingly. Real easy to install. Or if you got a stud. And you put the filter between the studs. You just screw through the stud. Into the filter to support it. Put a sleeper here at the bottom, top if you want to for rigidity. All kinds of ways to do it, but it's a two-step process, framing and then installing the studs, and then you put the diaphragm. That's plywood or MDF that we use on the face. So this is our CAW. People are using it all over the world. Lots of projects going on right now. Our carbon-absorbing wall. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.